This video illustrates the benefits of the new vertical SpectraVision together with the Companion Tools SV software in an evaluation of sample materials that are difficult to measure in a regular spectrophotometer or in the horizontal configuration of SpectraVision. We will show how samples with irregular shapes, very small sizes, or aggregated pieces of similar colors can be measured using the new vertical instrument. The video will show how the measurement can be accomplished and the colorimetric data acquired for these challenging and unique materials. The vertical configuration eliminates the risk of materials falling in the sphere through the aperture plate as well as eliminates the need for a mounted sample holder that sometimes causes light escaping issues. We will cover steps on how to correctly position the samples, adjust the instrument using the coarse and fine dials, review of the sample trays as well as using new color separation methods like the contiguous and regional selection. Tools SV version 1.2 enables the user with the ability to save entire images or a portion of the image captured during sample measurement. We will begin by calibrating the instrument using the calibration kit which contains the black trap, white, and green calibration tiles. To start the process, lower the sample tray by rotating the coarse dial to place the calibration stand in the inset of the sample tray. Place the black trap on the stand so that the text faces forward. Rotate to raise the sample tray and black trap up to the aperture plate. This can be done by rotating the fine dial until the black trap is flush against the aperture plate. Once the black trap calibration has finished, we will place the white tile. Lower the tray by rotating the coarse dial. Remove the black trap and place the white tile flat on the stand. If the tray was rotated all the way down, then use the coarse dial to adjust three quarters of the way up. The user will adjust the remaining quarter using the fine dial. Rotate the fine dial to raise the white calibration tile until it is in position. After completing the white tile, please repeat the same steps using the green tile. This instrument is ideal for small parts or samples that would be easier to measure resting flat during an evaluation. To demonstrate the functionality, we will be measuring electronic and watch parts. To start the process, lower the sample tray to place the samples for measurement. This can be done by rotating the coarse dial until the sample tray is visible. Place the samples to be measured inside the inset of the tray and start by adjusting the coarse dial until you are three quarters of the way up to the aperture plate. Switch to the fine dial as you come closer to the plate. The fine dial should be used the remaining quarter of the adjustment. The dials would be used only until the sample is in position for measurement. To start the regional selection process, we will need to select the Create Regions button at the top of the screen. Once selected, you will see the cursor change to a plus sign. The user will select the regional areas by defining a box around the area. Select the first regional area in the multicolor center by defining the box within the green color as shown. Select the next region in the multicolor center in the area of blue by defining the box. The final region should be selected to include the watch face with clearly defined colors. Once the regional areas are defined, the user will then select colors within the region. This can be done either as a defined box size or rubber band selection. For the multicolor regional selection, we will show the select all function which allows the user to select the entire defined box. The select all function will be used for both the green and blue colors. Choose the Select All icon on top of the color measurement window. The icon will change from a plus sign to a hand. Select the first regional selection, note the dotted line is replaced with a solid line, and the percent coverage is now visible. Repeat this step for the second regional selection. 
For the remaining regional selection, we want to capture individual components that may or may not be of the same color. To accomplish this, we will use the contiguous selection with the remaining regional box selection. Start by choosing the Select Colors icon on top of the color measurement window. The icon will change to an arrow shape. Select the white background color within the regional box. Select Show Separation to see the separation based on the default border 8. Change the border by selecting the drop down to choose the border desired. We will use border 2 for the white color. Next, select the contiguous selection checkbox to begin your selections within the black lettering. Select the zoom icon on top of the color measurement window, which looks like a magnifying glass. Zoom in to allow a clear view of the areas of selection. Choose the select colors icon to begin your color selection. When the contiguous selection is checked, it will let the user select one selection at a time of the same color. Once all areas of the black letters have been selected, we will update the border from the default of border 8. For this example, we will use border 2. If the user would like to review the border selection or changes, they would again select show separation. The remaining selection will be done by using the select colors icon with the standard separation method. Select the watch hand by clicking on an area within the hand. Adjust the border to border size 2. Review the selections by selecting Show Separation. Once the selections have been completed, the user will rename the selections if desired or change the borders per individual colors. Press Done when finished and the individual batch measurements for all colors will populate to the desktop. The user can then determine whether they want to store, evaluate, or export the data. One new feature now available is the ability to save the image rendered in the color separation dialog. This can be done within the color measurement window at the time of measurement. In this next sample we will show this function using three small electronic parts which are yellow, blue, and green. To start the process, lower the sample tray to place the samples for measurement. This can be done rotating the course dial until the sample tray is visible. Place the samples to be measured inside the inset of the tray and start by adjusting the course dial until you're three quarters of the way up. Switch to the fine dial when you come closer to the aperture plate. The fine dial should be used the remainder of the adjustment. The dials would be used only until the sample is in position for measurement. A save image dialog window will appear and the user can define the file location to be saved. The image saved can be the full image displayed in the color measurement window or a subset of the image by using the cropping functionality. Once the user has selected the file location, name the file and select save. To perform a color measurement within the same window, select the colors icon at the top of the color measurement window. Select each individual color one at a time. Review the selections by selecting Show Separation. Change the border from the border default of 8 by choosing the drop down to select 2. Once the selections have been completed, the user can rename the selections if desired or change the borders per individual colors. Press Done when finished and the individual batch measurements for all colors will populate to the desktop. The user can then determine whether they want to store, evaluate, or export the data.